So, the next part of the discussion in the periodic function of the periodic table that is modern periodic table that is you go for B that is atomic radius in general in shortcut it is represented as AR. First of all what do you mean by atomic radius? The distance distance of electron cloud electron cloud from the from from the nucleus to the outermost orbit outermost orbit of atom we can call it as the atomic radius that means if you take an atom for example if you take an atom which is having a positively charged nucleus if this is the first orbit or first shell imagine that here electron is present imagine that there is one more electron cloud second shell is there where the electron is present in the second shell so the distance covered the distance from the nucleus to the outermost orbit that means if you take the electron which is residing in the first orbit then its atomic radius is going to become r1 and if you take the distance of electron from nucleus to the outermost orbit if you take the first shell the radius is r1 if you take the second shell the radius is r2 as the number of shells increases the atomic radius also increases the, the atomic radius actually depends upon the volume of the atom volume of the atom depends on the number of shells present in the atom so and here based on this meaning of atomic radius here this atomic radius it can be expressed in units what are the units you can give for atomic radius atomic radius can be expressed in angstrom units a naught angstrom units one angstrom unit is actually equal to 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeter or 10 to the power of minus 10 meter however the atomic radius can also be expressed in nanometers or even picometers nanometers or picometers if you go for this atomic radius variation of atomic radius variation of atomic radius in period and group if you go for atomic radius atomic radius in period atomic radius in period it decreases it decreases from left to right why it decreases from left to right downward arrow represents the decrease in atomic radius from left to right in a period it decreases because of increase in increase in nuclear charge increase in nuclear charge nuclear charge actually represents number of protons present in the nucleus of atom when there is increase in the nuclear charge when there is increase in the nuclear charge the nuclear force of attraction the nuclear force of attraction nuclear force of attraction between nucleus the nucleus and the valence electrons electrons increases the meaning of the third statement regarding the decrease of atomic radius from left to right in a period is when you say the nuclear force of attraction between the nucleus and the valence electrons increases that means as the nuclear charge is increasing the electrons are coming closer to the nucleus when the electrons are coming closer to the nucleus this electron this nucleus of an atom it will try to firmly attract the new attract the valence electron towards itself that means when the nuclear charge is increasing the electrons present in the given shells are attracted towards the nucleus more firmly because of the increase in the nuclear charge of atom of an element that is why we can confidently say that atomic radius always decreases from left to right in a period 
if you go for the atomic radius in group atomic radius in group one more important point what you have to notice in the atomic radius in period is for every new element for every new element for every new element new element new element is added with the new electron new element is added with new electron of same shell that means the number of shells are remaining constant almost in a period when you move from one element to another element the number of shells always remains constant for every new element only a new electron is being added to the same shell that's the reason we can say that the nuclear charge increases and because of increase in the nuclear charge there's a nuclear force of attraction increase in the nuclear force of attraction takes place between the nucleus and the valence electrons that's the reason the atomic radius decreases now if you go for atomic radius in a group if you go for atomic radius in a group this from left to right that is from top to bottom in a group atomic radius increases from from top to bottom atomic radius increases from top to bottom down a group top to bottom in group in group and uh, next is here also there is increase in the nuclear charge in group also there is increase in nuclear charge nc stands for nuclear charge and uh, next uh, you find that uh, that is nuclear force of attraction nuclear force of attraction that is 